Hello everybody, Alexander here with more Ark Survival Ascended. So today I'm going to be showing you guys the little like base workshop thing I got going here. It's what I've managed to put together in between uh, taming some stuff. So I had a video for taming RGs, but the file got corrupted somehow. So these are the two guys I got from the taming for breeding. They're pretty good got this guy from one of the eggs from them, and I'm looking to get a male of the same level and start breeding up for stamina and carry weight mutations. And I built a taming pen over there, and I tested it on this Procoptodon so that I could use it for like videos and stuff. So we're going to be taming up a female Procoptodon if we can find one. And this is just kind of the RG I've been using. It was like a 110 when it was tamed, so it's not bad. Um, then we got like our stuff over here, you know. Just tames you guys have already seen. Our moth, bird bait, <laughs> who was used to tame the RGs. Alright, so I'm going to show the actual taming pen to you guys, and then we're probably going to go try to get us a Thyla or maybe a Thorny Dragon today. And a kangaroo, you know, try to get a couple of things done here. I put the raptors over here because the base is actually big enough that the pickpocket lizards were being a problem. Um, I do have a wall that took quite a bit of time to build around the entire outside of this, besides like the top ridge there where I just put like a butt ton of spike walls because I just got tired of like building the wall so i figured just spike walls for right now and if i need to replace it i will you know no big deal but over here is this now i put this together because it's gonna be a taming pen for right now but it's probably going to be repurposed into a different building later we're just gonna have to figure out what we want to do with that you know but anyway, i'm going to show you guys the way i have this set up um, with the way that this is built, you can drop a Procoptodon into there, and it can't go anywhere. And the reason why this is two walls high is so things like Thylas and Wolves and Thorny Dragons can't really hit you up here. So you should be relatively safe while taming more of the hostile creatures on the Ark. Now, I did look up um, what the Thylas preferred taming foods are. And it's cooked lamb, and their second preferred taming food, if it's not kibble, is cooked prime meat, which I have on hand. So if I can find a good Thyla, we will be taming one today. And I'm going to try to get another kangaroo and a thorny dragon. I'm not sure if we're going to do that all in one episode or if I'm going to break it up, okay? That's going to depend on, like, what I find right away. Okay. And if you guys want me to put a, like, an actual RG taming video out for this map, I will just re-record one and show you guys how to do it if you want me to. I have, like, a pen out there and everything. I just, like I said, the video file got corrupted somehow, and I'm not sure what went on with that, but, you know, it is what it is. I hear you, little dude, but we do need to be looking around for tames. Okay. Because I do want Thylas for going into the desert. Because having like a decent good five to six of them bred up would be really useful for fighting like death worms and stuff. Got a thorny dragon down there, what level? Uh, ooh. Oh, that's an Artha. Uh, I have the spoiled meat. Okay, I might tame an Arthoplora later. Um, just not right now, right? We're, that's not what we're up here for. So, we're gonna look around. That's a pretty good Carno. It's too bad they kind of suck. Um, I don't like them anyway. Like, I, I hardly ever tame them. They're just like raptors in the sense of, like, there has to be no better option. Oh, Jesus. That's a 120. Um. Okay, I know that I'm being picky, but, like, it's a Thyla. 
15. Let's see here. Let's just do a little bit more window shopping, right? It is a 120, though. That is really good. This is really good. All right. Uh, we are going to hope he doesn't just murk the bird. Um, you're the guy, right? Ooh, 135. Yeah, oh, I know. Oh, I know it. No, we're good. Jeez, he hits so hard. Gotta have to drop him. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. Let's see here. We need to heal up and then try to go get him. That's just going to be how this is. Uh, it's because they hit really hard. They hit like hilariously hard. And my bird does not have a lot of HP. Um. Come on. Just give me the Procopodon. <laughs> okay, we're gonna eat this little guy. And now we're gonna pick up the Procopodon and chew on him. Or female, I guess. Because we just need, um, we need health back. This is the nice thing about Arges, is they heal up pretty well. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna land and we're gonna try to refine the 135. Because we drug him over here, so he should still be in this general area. see. There he is. Fine, let's try this again. I just have to be really careful with what I'm doing. Okay. Nope, we're good. We're good. Nope, up. We go up. Okay. We're right above the obelisk. We're gonna go straight down. Line back up again. He's probably gonna go over. That's okay. I was hoping the bird would live longer. Damn it. Uh. 
Uh, yeah. Come on, up, 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 up. Okay, where's he at? I'm, I'm fine with this. I am a hundred percent okay with that trade. My only concern is where my bird initially died. Because it, it did have like a fair bit of shit on it. Okay. Point is, he's in the pen. I will happily pay the price of an RG for that shit. Uh, neutral. Come on, I need in my bag. Thank you. Perfect. Oh, whoops. You know, I didn't mean to consume that, but that's okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba, emotes. Hide hat, because I don't want to see that shit. Okay. Boop, boop, doo. That's just gonna happen sometimes. Okay. What matters is that we've got it in the damn pen. Yeah, you're not going anywhere, Thyla. That's the whole point of me building that the way that I did. You ain't going anywhere, buckaroo. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Punk. <laughs> you may have gotten me, but I got you, and it only cost me a bird. <laughs> I'm actually okay with that killing the RG. Like I said, my primary concern is, like, the stuff that was in the bird is now gone. I don't know if I can get it back. Because me dying may have despawned the bag. That could be a bug. That's like a thing. I don't know. Go sleep. It's not going to be a perfect tame because I'm going to have to use raw prime. Or not raw prime, but cooked prime to do it, but I don't care. Go sleep. I want murder mittens. He's actually really good, and I'm going to have to screenshot his stats, because, you know, for reasons. Now, realistically, I probably could have kept the bird had I just waited a little bit longer and healed up a little bit more. That was my bad. But, you know, learn from the mistake, right? But, you know, Thylas are always like this, though, where there's just, like, a chance that you moving them with the RG is going to get it killed. Which is exactly why, you know, just be ready for the bird to be disposable. Realistically, I could have aggroed him and dragged him over closer to the base as well. Had I thought about it a little bit more. So just learn from my mistakes. Alright, cool. Uh, file it down. Uh, teams in progress. Track. Monitor its hunger and its torpidity. Okay. Uh, aha! Nice. Okay. You come here. 
because this is going to over encumber the shit out of me. I'm willing to bet money. Uh, okay, so yeah, Thyle is down. I don't need to worry too much about that. Add all of that to my inventory. Uh, bird. Are the raptors outside whistle distance? But that's okay. I will remove them if I have to. Not super concerned. Okay, bird. You're gonna hold all of this stuff because it is very heavy. And I have no desire to carry it. And as much as I hate the idea of putting points into you, we're just going to put enough carry weight into you so that this is not a problem. Because as you guys can see, I was hitting drops and stuff. I was building. I don't need those, though. Um, I'm done building. I will make more if I... Oh, that's cool. Uh, I will make more if I need to. Um... Enduro stew, you say. Get this out of here. Uh, uh ba -ba -ba -ba. let's see. There it is. What's your food at, buddy? Uh, it's draining, but it's not draining fast enough for my liking. I am actually going to take the hidden door into here. It's just in case. Yeah, we're gonna need some narcotic in his inventory to keep him down. Some, uh, some NyQuil, if you will. Alright. The point is, is we have the cat. I don't even care that he killed a bird. Do not care. It's partially because I have a breeding pair of the damn things. Oh, uh, it's like right there, yeah. I need to put like a staircase there or something. I only have that there so that I can get in and out of the pen without the large shit escaping. Just gonna put those in there. We're gonna monitor that there, uh, torpor level. Okay. Alright. Now. What I'm trying to avoid being a thing is me losing the breeding pair of the birds until I have two level 219s from them as a base pair to breed. And then I'm going to, you know, use those 219s to make a bunch of replicas of the 219s and, you know, and start breeding for carry weight and stamina. Big, beautiful bird. Okay. Yeah, I just got this, like, tiny workshop going. Yeah, we have a bunch of cooked prime. We're looking pretty good. Uh, now, I can't remember how low that bar has to get before they wake up. I think it's a little under half. So once it starts getting down a little bit lower, I'll start worrying about it. Yeah, this is my, this is the kangaroo that was like a 105, I think, when I tamed it. It's pretty okay. I like the kangaroo a lot, but I would like a, uh, a better one. And we might get one today, who knows. But the thylacolio is the, uh, the bigger ticket item. Now, the other question is, do I actually know how to make the saddle? That would be the question, because I that is one of those saddles that I don't learn it until, yeah, until I have one. But I knew I was going to want one, because they're stupidly good. Okay, um... The Thames over there should be outside of the whistle-all radius, right? 
uh, Gallimimus. Come on. Perfect. And then I want everybody following the Gallimimus. <laughs> we're gonna park the Gallimimus right there, and we're good. This guy, as was mentioned during the RG video that got lost, was just kind of like stuck in some rocks in here, so I didn't really see a reason not to tame it while building. I gotta put stairs or something right here. This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I guess I can make it if I jump or whatever, but... You know, it's like stamina spent. Keep forgetting that it's that wall. Yes, hello, Thyla. What is your food at? I'm gonna wait until it's down by about a thousand food. Maybe a little bit less. Uh, it's low enough that uh I'm gonna feed it some of those try to keep it under if we can I mean we have enough narcotic that it shouldn't be a problem right it's adorable murdery but adorable <laughs> alright cool yeah the uh but like you said, cooked prime meat should be good, so, you know, hopefully I'm not being misled. The cooked lamb is ideal, but I, I do not have sheep yet, and I, I wanted one of those pretty badly. And I was just scouting last night and saw that I live next to, like, a bunch of them. Okay, so the benefit... Oh, did I shut the, uh... God, sometimes... Sometimes my brain does not brain properly, and I need to make sure I shut that smaller entryway, because I don't actually know if a Thyla can squeeze through that. And the last thing I want is the Thyla getting out of the pen and just wreaking havoc inside my base. Because I got really goddamn lucky when it was just standing there like a sack of potatoes staring at my tames and not actually, you know murdering everything but i also had to whistle passive just in case because it would have been killed by everything in the base like it probably would have killed a couple things but it would have died by just the sheer number of tames that are in here um that like workshop you guys see over there with the windmill on it that's probably getting taken apart and i'm gonna rebuild like an actual uh better and just better structure. Probably over here. Uh, cause I want a bigger building that has like a greenhouse and stuff attached to it. And this was just kind of built when I first got here as like, uh, I need to make a bunch of shit. Thyla's torpor level is hovering around there. How we look in here, buddy? Yeah, you're only down by 250 food. That's not enough. Um, I wish it gave me a specific count on its torpor level. Oh, goddamn. The, uh, the darts, like, almost killed it. It's crazy. I mean, it was all headshots, to be fair. Which, if I'm remembering correctly, does increase the amount of torpor that you apply. Yeah, I hear you, little dude. Oh, did he... He must have killed my, uh... My lemur. Is my lemur dead? Oh, uh, I tried man Alexander was killed. Yeah, that was, like, super early. Uh, Argentavis. Mm, didn't say the freaking lemur died, so where is my lemur? 
Is he up on the railing, maybe? I don't know. Uh, well, actually, I died over here, right? So it would make sense for him to be over here. I'm just being a sack of potatoes today. I tell you. Well, I hear a lemur, but it's probably a wild lemur. Uh -huh. No. No, give me my child. No, get out of my way, you fucking camel. Oh god. You. You're being a fat ass. Move. I don't appreciate you being a fat ass. I just want my lemur. <laughs> Come here. Get on my shoulder, you magnificent bastard. My god, you survived that? That's crazy. Okay. Let's get you some berries. How do you have no berries? Well, I mean you do, but none that I want to give him. What's that torpidity level at? <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on that. Whoa. Why do you have so few things in your inventory? What happened? Uh, okay, there's a bunch of meat in there still. That's what matters. Got this little guy too. I saved him from some raptors. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you've got the goods. You've got the goods. Alright, little dude, here you go. You are a most useful ally. I wish the, uh, the Jaboas worked like otters do, in the sense that they give you fortitude, but I don't think they do. Heat resist, cold resist, 314490. Give me a second, I want to know. Yeah, no, okay. I thought maybe I was wrong, but I was right. They, they do not give you any insulation whatsoever, which I guess makes sense, because they're like, you know, built-in weather warning systems. I'm going to go feed that thylacoleo more narcotic. That is what I'm going to do, because I do not want the thylacoleo waking up. Yep, mm-hmm. Nope, you stay the fuck to sleep. I am not having this. I am already going to lose a fair bit of taming effectiveness on you. Huh. I don't need it. I don't need it, and I don't want it. And in fact, just to be safe, I'm just gonna jam the remaining 30 of these down your throat. I'm okay with spending it. Truly, I am. You just, you just, you just stay asleep there, buddy. I don't want it. I'm just not interested. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna turn this into a, uh, like a breeding pen or something. Put like a windmill up there. Set some air cons around the edge of the room. And, uh, only raise anything in here that could fit through the gate, you know. This, yeah, this just is getting repurposed into something else once I'm done using it for taming. How high is that going? I need to monitor this kind of heavily, because I don't I don't trust it. Mm, we're almost there. Like I said, I, I kinda want it to be down by at least a thousand before I start jamming food into its face. Because it's the kind of thing where I'm already going to lose taming effectiveness for it, so I want it to tame up as quickly as possible off of the, f the actual food that I'm giving it. And, I mean, it's going to be a strong tame no matter what, because it's a thyla. Um, and for those of you who maybe have never tamed one of these, these creatures apply a bleed to anything that they bite. 
and if I remember correctly, that bleed does max health damage. And it's either over time or it's just a flat percentage. I can't remember which one, I just know that it does max health damage. So you get enough of these things attacking something, and it's it's gonna die pretty quickly. Um, that's why, like, a pack of six or seven of them strong is just really good for the desert. Because even if you run into a death worm, you can kill it pretty easily. Okay. Oh, uh... It's this wall right here. <laughs> I don't care that you killed a bird, you're so cool. I sacrificed a 110 RG to get you. Like, I mean, it was technically a much higher level than that when it died, but like, I don't care. Man, it's, uh, it's torpidity level is sketching me out. Have you plateaued? No, you're still going up. Okay, good. Just gotta keep an eye on that. Do not want that waking up. Alright. <laughs> we are looking good, though. We are looking damn good. And, uh, over the next couple videos, I'm probably going to be adding stuff to the base. So, like, as I continue recording, you guys are probably going to see structures getting added in here. And at some point, like I said, that workshop is getting dismantled and rebuilt into a better building for what it is being done in there because it's very like small and rudimentary for right now and it's not like how i like my bases to be built especially on maps where i'm planning to be here for a long time see because i just got these aircons for hatching and stuff and this is how i generally speaking will set up the forges in a small area because it's just very tight space compact area very effectively laid out to do what it needs to be doing. Some cooking recipes call for jerky, which is why I'm like trying to get a bunch of it up and going. But I'm gonna be building like a full meat processing like hut or whatever somewhere in here that's just gonna have like a ridiculous amount of preserving bins in it. And I'm gonna be making like <laughs> just a stupid amount of jerky because it's it's good food to keep on you because it gives you a bunch of like actual food to your bar as well as it can be used in a fair bit of recipes and i'm getting tired of eating cactus sap all the time all right oh uh, what is your food at phyla all right, yeah, I mean, you're you're probably close enough. I don't imagine that you would fill completely up at this point, so we're just going to throw a bunch of cooked prime meat in its inventory is what we're going to do. And because we have the ability to breed a bunch of dinos, we can always get more prime meat, because that's, that's why that's all in there. I've just been killing the reject RGs and consuming them with an RG to, uh, you know, get more. Uh, I'm gonna grab three stacks of that, and we are going to hope that that is enough. In the event that it's not, we will grab two stacks of regular meat. And we'll run back over, won't we? <laughs> The freaking kangaroo is ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, they're so fun to use. Um, I remember when you used to be able to have heightened movement speed on those. <laughs> that used to be a thing. It's not anymore. focusing on the pr cooked prime, which is what matters. Yeah, I was worried that that was gonna happen. That's fine, though. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Alright everyone, this is where I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back after the damn thing is close to waking up. Alright everybody, and we are back. The thylacolo is just about up. Alright, we're sitting at 93% taming done. And we did lose... It's like, what, 15%? I should say a little bit more than that, but it's uh it should be around twenty ish percent in total when lost. But that's not bad at all for using something that's not its like chosen food. Right? The cooked uh lamb meat's gonna have a much higher taming effectiveness on it, but didn't have access to it, so I'm having to make do with what I do have access to. Uh fun fact. These are my second favorite land-based creature in the game. First being Rock Drakes. I like Rock Drakes a lot. In fact, those are probably my favorite tame in the whole game. But uh, these guys are really good. And I'm really hoping to get a pretty strong set of them. Because I want to go into the desert, right? But you have to have... Pretty strong tames to get away with being out there. And it's mostly because of the death worms. So. I want to make sure you're ready. Oh boy. Alright. Very soon we will have the cat. The murder mittens. Uh, bow, bow. The kangaroos are a lot of fun. <laughs> as soon as the uh, thyle is up, I'm going to go and turn all those narcoberries into more narcotic, because it took quite a bit to keep this guy down. But again, it's worth it. They're just such good mounts. There we go. Ah, yeah. Look at you, you ferocious bastard. Alright, so we're gonna take all that out of you. You can pull the cart? Oh my god. Okay. No, that, uh... That definitely changes things. Alright, we are gonna whistle for you to stop. My goodness. He is beautiful. I like it. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, I need to take him out of there so I can drop other stuff in there. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I was about to say, you should be able to get out of there. Like, with no problems. God, he's, he's such good security. Alright, raptors, you've pretty much been replaced. Because the minute I get a breeding pair of these things, even if they're not, like, super good... Right, like, even if both of them are tamed with cooked prime meat, the reality is is that it's still a breeding pair of thylas. Like, it's still going to be gross pretty much no matter what. How did a baby get That's fine. It's fine. My base is pretty big, and it doesn't have enough buildings in it yet to, like, prevent dinos from spawning in here. But only herbivores have seemed to drop in here. I want that to be at least a thousand carry weight. I want him to have a pretty good amount of carry weight. Let's go and turn that off if it doesn't need to be on. <laughs> All right, everybody, and that's uh, that's Thyla taming. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you've enjoyed your time here today. Remember to hit that notification bell and tell your friends. We're trying to build a beautiful community here, and we cannot do so without you guys. Alexander, signing out.